More details are out tonight about the arrest of the Sarasota Salvation Army's Social Services Director. David Sutton and his former business partner were charged this week for allegedly selling unregistered stocks. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has the latest. It started off as what seemed to be a good business idea. Uh, as a criminal defense lawyer, I, I remember actually being solicited for that particular business. Um, there were some representations that it was going to be a lot bigger than it really was, that it was approved by people who I don't necessarily know that actually approved it. Suncoast attorney Derek Bird is talking about the company Keys to Recovery and its online drug recovery course available at Sober101.com. Sober101 was a real online course that somebody could take. I think the, the, where things get a little murky is saying that you as an investor, this is going to, your money is going to convert into a stock. Well, you can't convert something into a stock unless you have the license to sell a stock, unless you have it registered as a stock. And according to the affidavit, neither Sutton, co-defendant Michael Garrett, or their company met those requirements. In addition to the accusation of selling unregistered stock, the affidavit alleges the misuse of the about $300,000 collected from investors, most of which was committed by Garrett. It's important to understand that an unregistered security in and of itself is a major legal problem. That being said, what they then do with the money is perhaps yet another legal problem because they first of all took the money under false pretenses, presumably, and then they took that money and did with it something that was not in the best interest of the quote corporation. ABC 7 commentator Richard Stern says there are strict rules governing what can and cannot be done with investor money. And according to the affidavit, Sutton allegedly illegally collected $2,400 in salary in 2012. Garrett, on the other hand, is accused of paying himself $15,000 in 2012 and $37,000 in 2013. Financial documents also show that Garrett withdrew thousands from ATMs at popular dog tracks and gambling locations, as well as spending money on personal expenses like meals, gas, car rentals, and airline tickets. He's also accused of misrepresenting his qualifications. Mr. You know, Mr. Sutton's partner um, was making representations allegedly that he had certain degrees or certain education and that he didn't in fact have and that it had been approved by these different drug courts. And now the two are expected to be back in court on June the 10th. Back to you.